Hello everybody and welcome in this video. If you are someone who edits videos on a regular basis and especially when you do this with high quality files, then you are most likely familiar with the additional errors and crashes during editing or rendering. Or you don't get the preview image stable and it lags all the time, which makes it impossible to edit properly. You have a good performance in the video and you want to show it to your audience, but then the editing doesn't go how it has to go and after a while the rendering doesn't work. And so it goes until you finally succeed after so many tries. Do you recognize this? I know a few tips to prevent this. Perhaps not the most user friendly, but with a high chance of positive results. The reasons for these errors and crashes can be different, but they all disrupt the same goal. A stable video file and most importantly, without loss of quality. I use Sony Vegas Pro for most video editing and sometimes Movavi too. I will put in the video description web pages of the programs that I usually use. To begin, when I created video files that are of very high quality, I first create new files by converting them to a lower resolution. I then use the low resolution files to edit the video. This will ensure that the preview image in your video editing software will not lag so that you can work accurately and place all your IDs in the video. To be on the safe side, save your session every few numbers of step if you do get a crash. When you have finished editing your video and after you save the session one last time, close your video editing program. Then you change the name of the original files to the names of the converted files. After doing this, open your video editing program again. This will now load the original files into the session you just did. Now you just need to render it without crashing and this is tricky. For example, I can recommend that you adjust certain options in a specific program and even then I cannot guarantee that you will either not get a crash or have no loss of quality. I don't think it's a super good way, it takes a lot of patience, but it's more effective than what I've tried before. And if the video is worth it, then it's a way to solve it. So cut your video into 2, 3, 4 minute chunks. Then be sure to save the session. This is an important point to save. And now you render every piece separately and add numbers in the file names so you don't lose the correct order. If you do get a crash, cut the parts into even shorter parts. When you are done, you have rendered all parts. Open a new session and put the new files of all parts in the correct order in the program. After that, you can just render the entire video and you should have a small chance of a new crash. Your editing program will be able to handle files created in its own software better. So this is one way that might help if you really have no other options to keep the video quality in full. I find this method very annoying and time consuming. And fortunately, I have not had to use this method that often but some videos are worth the effort to maintain the video quality. I very recently had to progress an hour long video like this. It seriously took over 6 hours to render the video. After 2 evenings of trying to render, I had no other choice. I will also link this video in the video description. I know how frustrating these editing and rendering crashes are, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you have been helped with this, thanks for watching, have a good day wherever you are, salut!